Up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Gilbert Dorino Burns. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 20 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Dorino Burns! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Leon Rocky Edwards! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? And he switches his stance yet again. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah, he can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. A guy that can mix it up. A guy that knows exactly. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Just unable to quite find that range. Single collar tie now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. If your opponent has you in the clinch, oh man, look at that. And this might just be a matter of time.
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. And he landed the right hand there. Under three minutes remain in round one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Burns. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Burns has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Where are your hands? Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Burns. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not going for an arm bar now. He's attacking arm bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move them off. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and there's the tap, so he submits him with the armbar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar, Gilbert Durinho! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is...